Hey guys, welcome back. On this video, I am going to show you how to pull an active cash buyers list using PropStream. Now, if you're new to wholesaling or maybe you're even experienced, PropStream is a great tool to pull cash buyers. And I'm going to show you exactly the criteria to make sure that it's actually active cash buyers. And that is by selecting certain criteria. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to share my screen right now. We're going to jump in and get going so you should be able to see my screen right here now if you don't already have um an account with PropStream, i want you to go to propstreamgavin.com propstreamgavin.com that's actually going to give you a seven day free trial to actually test this out all right so go to again uh, propstreamgavin.com and get signed up. You've got seven days to check this out. You can even do some downloads and pull in and test in and call in people as well. So it's pretty awesome. So let me just go now and log in. Once you've got signed up, you're going to go and log in here. Okay. And we're going to come to this screen when you get in. Now, let's load in. When you, when you see this and you, and you come in here, PropStream is known, you can see here, from the county, city, or zip code, or codes with an S that you can put in. Don't worry too much about the the, uh, the APN right now. All right, so you can pull by county, city, or zip codes. Now, if you have zip codes, you can put them in. If you're going to be working in a certain county in the United States, you could do that. So I'm just going to randomly put a county in here. I'm going to go to Pima, uh, Pima County... Arizona and it's going to populate so you're going to select that and it's going to come up with all these numbers because you can do sellers lists from here as well and now what we need to do is we're going to click on this filter tab and we need to now start creating criteria that's actually going to show up right here where I'm moving around the mouse so I'm going to go in and I'm going to go cash buyers and that went from crazy amounts to Okay, still 54,000, all right, which is still a hell of a lot of buyers. So then I'm going to go down to property characteristics, and I'm actually going to tick residential. So I want residential cash buyers if I'm if that's if that's what I need buyers for, okay? And I'm going to do property type. I want to do single family and let's say multifamily. Now, you might be doing condos, so you could select that. And I'm just trying to narrow it down because Pima's a big county. I'm just trying to create criteria to narrow down my cash buyers list and again i'm going to show you how to get it active here in a second so once i've done that and then they're going to go to ownership um this is where you're going to say active now you can do this in three months six months nine months or 12 months so i'm just going to do 12 months so i'm going to do a year and what you're going to see is this number is going to drop a hell of a lot so i'm going to do a max of one year Okay, now it's 2,609. So that was a big. So this means, though, that these are actually active people. Now, one more thing or a couple more things I'm going to show you that you could do uh, is owner type. Now, what I would do if I am pulling the list, I would separate and do two pulls on this. I would do individually owned and then come back and do corporate owned. Okay. And the reason being is, is that you're going to get a different type of skip trace depending on on uh on what it is that you uh what you're doing so individually owned gavin tims owns one two three main street because you have my full name you're going to get a better hit rate from a skip trace company than you are gavin llc okay so remember individually owned means it's going to be their first and last name corporate means it's probably going to be an llc so if i go individual now there's 924 of those and once i've pulled those i can go back to corporate and I got 1,197 of those. Now, again, I would personally pull separate, but you can if you want. You could pull them all together. So you can decide if you want to do uh, one and then go back, create the criteria again, and select the other. I'm just going to do individual real quick just for this demo. Uh, I also like to always do, uh, well, you could do if you wanted. If I'd do that more. I wouldn't do the unknown sale date. I would if it was sellers, but I'd make sure that was not ticked. Uh, for the cash buyer. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to the valuation equity here and I'm going to go and select the estimated value 
I might want to keep this under 300,000. It might be 200,000, might be 150,000, depends on your market, it might be 500,000. So you can see here from the individual, what did that do look? So if I take that back off, so there's 924, but if I wanted to keep it under 300,000, if that's what I was doing business, you could put that on or you could just leave it and take all 994 properties. So remember, this is a small list, but it's cash buyers, it's residential, it's single family and multifamily buyers. They bought within the last, vid, uh, the last year and it's individually owned. Then what I would do is I would highlight this list, I'd add to list, I'd create new list, and I'd call it Pima County Cash Buyers Individual, and then I would save it, and then I can take that list and get it skip traced. Once you've done that, you can untick and literally go back here to your filter, go back down to ownership and take off the individual, take the corporates, and then now take these, do the same, add list, create list, and market this one as um, Pima County Cash Buyers Corporate. So then you've got two different lists. So you know when you're cold calling or you're texting these buyers, you can actually then um, know if you're dealing consistently with LLCs or individually owned. Okay, so that is going to be it for this video. So that's how you're going to have to pull an active cash buyers list, okay, to go and start looking. It's much easier, guys, to go and look what buyers want than what you have. So when you're talking to these buyers, all right, when you start to reach out, how many of them are they buying? Where are they? Where are they buying? Where are they not buying? How quickly can they close? Are they paying cash or do they need financing? You can, how many? You can find out all these questions and then you can go and create seller criteria to then really focus on actually finding discounted properties and then moving them quickly to the cash buyers. All right, um, I will see you on the next one. I appreciate it. Remember, if you need this, go to propstreamgavin.com. All right, guys. Appreciate you. Thanks. Bye-bye.